My name is Andrew Sikorski. I am a photographer, which actually I serve uh, artists and uh, craft uh, makers in my capacity. And uh, I've been a photographer for the last 35 years at least, and uh, uh, for at least 25 years in Canberra since I started my um, art attorney photography business. Well, I uh, provide photography services for my uh, my. Uh, Clients, uh, mainly artists, and uh, work with arts organizations and uh, and uh, and studios and galleries and uh, and publishers. Uh, we provide high-end um, imaging for uh, for the um, practice and uh, and uh, we photograph, of course, the art, beautiful artwork they, they they make, and sometimes we photograph artists themselves. I use uh, high-end uh, equipment and, uh, and uh, um, meaning camera, lenses, uh, uh, computers and software um, to provide the best quality images for, for clients. And uh, if you combine it with uh, the experience I have for such a, a long time, uh, it almost guarantees that you've got some really nice results. Uh, My work depends on the uh, artists of people's assignments, and I like I love working with people on on, on a variety of, of them, and we always uh, make sure that we work together and it's, uh, to get the best outcome uh, to present the uh, artwork or artist artist profile in the best possible way, and that uh, way actually um, we I have. Uh, Many clients actually who are, are coming back to me uh, since I started the business actually. We found many friendships even, uh, and, uh, and the love is mutual, so to speak. <laughs> um, because I remember it always exciting about photographing pretty much uh, everything. Uh, people are having, doing such a wonderful uh, artwork, art here in, in Canberra. Um, there are wonderful um, uh, galleries around. There are so many beautiful arts organizations, uh, and uh, and the whole community is uh, it's truly wonderful. I, I really enjoy working with with everyone. On a more actually personal level, um, I run also a blog uh, called the Live in Canberra magazine. Uh, uh, since uh, or for the last probably 12 years, and uh, which depicts actually the um, photos of again arts uh, um, organizations, uh, uh, opening of exhibitions, and uh, documentary uh, stories of about artists. I, initially, I didn't mean it to do it about art, but this is where I, my heart is, and I, and and I really love it. So it's just just perfect. And art uh, uh, life in camera is based on the. Um, old-fashioned traditional uh, style of photography in, um, from uh, when photogenesis was at its peak in the uh, in early uh, 1940s and 1970s and I just love this photography as most of uh, the documentary photogra photographers love and uh, and uh, that's why um, I set it up that uh, in that that, that way. Uh, my studio is in the Gorman Art Centre, uh, which is uh, I've been here for quite a long time, and I absolutely love this place because uh, um, I've got the um, studio set up in the way that uh, um, purpose is set up for um, photography of artwork and of course people, but uh, it makes it uh, very efficient when when you've got everything um, just set up that way, and uh, so and also joy to use because you don't struggle with the equipment; everything is just done. Um, in that uh, that way, Gorman Art Centre. Uh, it's uh, also a wonderful place to be. It's once, of course, it's located location. Uh, it's location uh, in the centre of the city, but also there are wonderful people and uh, both uh, um, tenants and uh, and and uh, uh, directors. Uh, wonderful community and great, pe like-minded people who just love the arts and being in it.